In my former life uh, working for Ofsted, we used to uh, review regularly the performance achieved by Stoke schools and be concerned about it. And I think actually one of the reasons why the group, the cooperative group, got involved in sponsoring the Stoke Academy was to try and do something about that. It's a better school now than it used to be. Uh, now the facilities are absolutely amazing, so the aspirations of the students are really, really raised and really increased. We've got a lot of open learning spaces. We're not subjected to a four walls in a classroom. I think the students feel empowered. Well, when I visit the Stoke Academy, uh, it feels a little bit like a university, a new university. It's got these sweeping corridors. I think being in a cooperative academy is important for helping the students because of the opportunities that being part of the cooperative group brings. I think they're very like, focused on progress. They offer things and opportunities that some schools don't. I did speeches not too long ago um, for a Rotary Club, which were you know, local things, and that was like a very big confidence boost. So what the Cooperative Young Leaders are is it's a programme that the school's running where students will actually teach lessons to primary schools. It's pretty cool because, like, your confidence kind of goes up because you learn a bit more about yourself and your subject you're teaching. Throughout year seven, I was quite shy and nervous without being able to speak a word of English. I spoke in front of 800 people and I could never imagine myself standing in front of 800 people. The staff are very like upbeat and happy and they, they're very supportive and they do show you, you know, respect and equality and they treat you as though you're an adult. And I think the thing that comes over is uh, the honesty of the young people. The atmosphere is very different at the school and the first person that said hello to me is one of my best friends still, um, Anjuma. She just came up to me with a big like bubbly smile and she's like, hi, how are you doing? My name's Anjuma and it was just really nice how everyone was friendly. You feel as though you're part of a family. The students walking in these doors are part of a family. We have a responsibility to those students. It is sort of um, a real community that has got that celebrates diversity. I'm in a really privileged position to be teaching RE in such a multicultural school as this. And, and I try to get across to the students that it is a privilege to learn alongside people from so many different walks of life. Staff really matters. The way they speak to you, the way they deliver the lessons, it really does affect on your learning. I've grown up where they grow up. Um, I understand the area, the social economic deprivation that we have got around here. So yeah, it relates to the students quite a bit. They're very supportive, like if you're struggling they'll help. Even if there's nothing wrong, like you can go and have a chat about everything. The I zone's somewhere where you can go if you feel you need help with anything. You can go down there and they're, they're really friendly. To be honest, it just helps you feel more at home in the school. We look after each other and at the same time have high expectations of what we expect of achievement. There is a sense that we're all responsible for each other and for our students' achievement. And the staff are like, the staff are fantastic, they're so supportive, they're so welcoming. Yes, you have your ups and downs and that's teaching for you, but I think the support that we get from the SLT, from the head teacher and from general staff, I think really, really positive. I am very proud to work at the Cooperative Academy Stoke. It's my my school. It's 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 like I say, why, I, why I get up in the morning and come to teach because it's, it's everything that I am. I, I really enjoy going there and having lunch because the, the, the lunches are fantastic. <laughs> Apart from being really nicely priced, but they're really, it's a really nice atmosphere because um, staff and uh, students, they have lunch together. But it's a really nice relaxed place and uh, you really get, to, you get a sense, I think, in, at those times as to you know, how, how young people feel about the place. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's about optimism, warmth, enjoyment, people getting on. That's what makes it special. Probably the best decision I've ever made to come to this school because I've just made my future look so much brighter and I never would have thought I'd accomplish half the things that I have here in my old school. This academy is like one big family. We deeply care about every young child, but we also know how to make young people productive members of society. So when our young people leave the academy, they're resilient and they're ready to take the next steps in their careers. We know that we've been successful because since we became an academy, more of our young people are going to university, more of our young people are going into the top ranked universities, more of our young people are going on to some fantastic careers and getting some great jobs. And we believe it's because they've had a grounding here at the academy with a great education.